Well, ever since I got this grizzly from my brother and, you know, rebuilt the motor, uh, I've been thinking I wanted to get a trailer to use it for cutting firewood. You know, I've got a lot of, like, this stuff here that uh, is buried back in the brush. Well, if a guy can get back in there, you know, all these little stream bottoms, you know, it'd be handy. So I had talked about getting one of these polar trailers. Uh, I was running into a problem where they're kind of hard to, you know, not, they're sold by a lot of places, but not a lot of places have them in stock. But I was able to hunt one up in Fleet Farm. And I have the optional you know, rack on it. You know, they come just with the plastic and for eh, under a couple hundred, you can get this this optional rack. Actually, there's a lot of options available for these, both made by Polar and by uh, third parties. You know, there's a lot of stuff out there for them. You know, covers and uh, you know even you know your beverage holders and tool holders. There's a lot of stuff out there for them. But these kind of plastic, you know, I've had a couple of different sleds like this. I've got one now that I use for firewood. And they're pretty amazingly durable. Because basically what this is, is their sled. You know, they sell a lot of stuff of these kind of sleds like this. And portable ice fishing houses, you know, that you can drag out and then you unfold, you know. But basically, they just took that design and made a trailer. But I think they're very popular, and I can see why. You know, uh, it comes in a big box. you got to put it all together. But very well designed. You know, when they make different versions, like this is a single axle, they do make a tandem axle of the same weight. You know, this is 1,500 pounds it'll hold, which is three-quarter ton, which, you know, is quite a little. They make a 1,200-pound 12, one, too. But I want it just a little bit bigger. Trailer itself is around 600, so as it sits, this package is about 800 bucks. But I think you get a lot of use out of this. You know, it's, it's interesting. And it is dump. You know, you flip this, and she will dump. Now, she won't dump clean, because it just tilts back. But, you know, how hard is that to get that out of there? But you can see, you know, it's a pretty solid frame. It's interesting in that looking in the in the packaging, I'd swear that the the sled portion itself is made here in Minnesota, but the frame and uh, the rack too, the metal stuff all came out of China, but made very well. Uh, plus, the design is made so that not only does it dump. But it will pivot and dump. You know, it's, it's uh, pretty well engineered. Yeah, one of the other accessories you can get is a kick pedal to release that hitch. You know, to, to do the dump. The one thing I had reservations about, which I might change, well, two things here. The wheels are held on with these snap type clips. Well, 
it's so easy for sticks and brush to hook them kind of clips. I mean, I, I've had that on tractors. Uh, you're constantly losing them. Hopefully these are recessed enough in there that the sticks won't catch it. And my second reservation is these are tubeless tires. Now, anybody dealing with any lawn and garden equipment, you know, after a couple of years, them tubeless tires start leaking. You know, it's a constant fight people have with lawnmowers and garden tractors. So I think I'm going to have to look and see if I can't find a tube to keep on hand. You know, you never know. Maybe they'll hold up, but boy, I've seen so many of them go bad. But I like it. I think it's just the right size. In fact, yeah, when I first put it on there, I said, well, that is perfect. You know, I, I think she's pretty perfect. I believe they make one slightly bigger. You know, like an 1,800 pound. But that would be a special order again. And I saw um, Northern Tool has a polar trailer that rather than being the tub type, like what this is, you know, with that plastic sled, it has mesh on the sides, you know, it's all metal. I think that's only 1,200 pound though. And my concern with that would be that the, uh, the mesh floor, the sidewalls wouldn't be so much of a problem. But when you deal with this mesh stuff, uh, especially on a floor, it's not that strong. You know, it's fine in this rack kind of situation to keep things from coming out. You're just rolling off. Especially if you're handing, uh, handling it like brush or straw or hay or anything like that. You know, yeah, you get extra capacity. Yeah, I see that it says Clam is the company that makes it. But I know they made a lot of uh, portable fish hoses. I think I, I think every relative I got has got one of them, or two or three of them. But one of the things, too, that I kind of was impressed with, uh, you could see that the frame, you know, the axles drop down. To give it a little more clearance for the frame. You know, that, that's good. And it was interesting uh, putting it together, uh, pretty straightforward, but the hardware is very well designed. The bolts in that, they're the right length. They're standard bolts in the first place, you know, which is nice. A lot of Chinese stuff, you God only knows what you got. But they are all standard, and they are of the length that if you tighten them down, you will run out of threads before you start collapsing the tubing, you know, because you're dealing with square metal tubing. And it's easy for somebody like with an impact and then hammer them so tight that it bends the tubing. These bolts are the right length. And I will mention... Like I say, this this rack is an option. And when you mount that, you do have to drill four holes because the only one that has a, a hole originally from the factory is that center one because it's got that extra support going up. But part of the reasoning with getting the, the rack was I figured it would just stiffen up the whole machine, you know, just make it a little uh, more solid. Otherwise, like even on these plastic sleds, you can bulge the sides out. I've never seen one break, but if they're loaded heavily, you could bulge them. I figured, oh, okay, a little extra support there. I do like it. I mean, I'm impressed. You know, eight hundred dollars for me is a lot of money, but I think I can get a lot of use of this. And 
like I said, I've got so much wood laying back in the trees here and hard to get at spots. Uh, this will work very well for that. And the trailer itself is very light. Uh, I don't know if it says on here what it weighs. I think it's like, yeah, overall weight, 127 pounds. So it's very easy if you've got an awkward spot to try to get in. You can unhook it, back it in by hand, and then back the four-wheeler in. But like I say, this one came from Fleet Farm, but I know they are available from Tractor Supply Company and Northern Tool. You know, there's a lot of places that handle them. I, I think they're very popular, and I think this size is the most popular one that they sell. You know, I'm surprised, like I say, these... You know, there's a lot of options available for them, and these wheels are only held on with that single spring clip on each side. I'll have to look, but I would be surprised if somebody doesn't make optional skis that you could pop on in like a minute and use it behind a snowmobile. I would think that would work very well. Uh, if nobody makes them, I'll probably, I got some old snowmobile skis, I could easily make that modification. But like I say, the tandem axle one, I don't know that you really gain that much. You know, uh, in part, it would be a little more awkward to do the pivoting. You know, tandems don't really like to pivot. Something's got to slide. And adding the tandem axle doesn't really gain you anything in weight. You know, it's still the same three-quarter ton. The only thing I could see a tandem... You know, they're, they're the exact same wheels, it's just that they use two pair of them and a rocker that hooks onto the regular axle. Uh, you could easily upgrade one of these to tandem if you wanted to. The only thing I could see as an advantage is the tandem would ride a little smoother over rough ground. You know, if you're going on a very uneven surface, well, you know, tandem can float a little. But I am impressed with it. It's exactly what I wanted, but like I said, it was a little tough to find one. Yeah, that should serve me very well. And I think I could, if I filled that level with the rack, I'd have four or five days of burning there. Yeah, I, I think that's a... You know, it's a reasonable deal. You know, the rack itself is, you know, when you consider that's you know, close to $200, that does add a lot to the cost. But just a basic trailer for 600 that's not a bad deal, considering you're getting a pretty solid unit. I'm impressed anyway. Give her a good workout today. I got plenty of wood to cut.